Okay, thought I would shoot a quick update to the uh, videos I've been making on the tower with the uh, stack of antennas. Right now, the 70 foot tower is fully extended. The uh, Yagi, which is a TH3 Mark IV, is uh, about a foot above the uh, top of the tower on a uh, what's called a stackable hex plate or tilt plate and uh, above that is a hex lock which allows you to tilt the uh, hex beam and the hex beam is on a fairly thin mass that I was using on the shop but now it's uh, up on top of the tower and I, I got to replace that probably with something twice as long to get the hex beam uh, above the Yagi further so that when the Yagi tilts over its elements won't run into the hex beam. Uh, but anyway, it's up at 70 feet. I got it up quickly because of the hurricane watch net. I wanted to uh, be sure and have this station available to listen to stations in the affected area. And uh, so far it's working well. I'm hearing Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Croix, uh, those areas uh, exceptionally well from my location here in uh, northeastern central Florida. Out here in the woods I have almost no noise. I sit on a zero noise floor even with the preamp on one. If I go to two I start showing some noise but hearing very very well. And I think the uh, tilt plate is going to be a great idea. It allows me to have the antenna flat uh, uh, next to the ground when I tilt the tower over. And the hex lock I think will be usable once I get the uh, mast up taller that the uh, hex beam itself is on and go to something much, much stronger because that's easily the uh, weakest point uh, in the entire design is that uh, is that mass going up to the bottom of the uh, hex beam. So anyway, W6LMJ in Florida, just giving an update on the station uh, at my location.